In this lesson, I'd like to show you some more seventh chords. Not only will I be demonstrating how to play them, but you'll also learn how they are constructed and therefore how they get their names. So far, you should have learnt the shapes for various major, minor and seventh chords. We have dealt with major and minor chord construction in a previous lesson on arpeggios, and so we know that these chords are made up of the first, third and fifth notes of their respective scales. Now, let's take a look at seventh chords. These are made from the first, third, fifth and seventh notes of the scale. The chord you already know as a seventh is properly called a dominant seventh. This chord is actually a major chord but contains a minor or flat seventh note. Let me explain. If we play the scale of A major like this and count the notes as we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We can see that the seventh note is a G sharp. Now we know from our dominant seventh chord that it actually contains the note of G on the third string played open. This is the flatted or minor seventh note of the scale of A and is the note we would add into the major chord to give us a dominant seventh chord. Hopefully with some practice and patience you'll be able to understand how this works. Next, I'd like to look at the major seventh chord. The formula for this chord is first, third, fifth and seventh notes of the major scale. If we look again at this scale of A major, you'll see that this time we add the normal seventh note of the scale, or G sharp, to produce an A major seventh chord. We play it like this. We can move our finger on and off the third string to hear the difference between these major seventh and dominant seventh chords. As before, the formula is the same for a major seventh chord in any key. So for C major seventh, we would add in the note of B by taking off our first finger when playing a normal C major chord, like so. For the chord of G major seventh, add in an F sharp note by changing our finger position, like so. For the chord of D major seventh, add in a C sharp note, like so, and play with just one finger. And so on. If we go back to the A major 7th chord and use 2nd, 3rd and 4th fingers to fret it, we can also move this shape up the neck as a bar chord to create other major 7th chords, just like we did with our open major and minor chords. Move the shape up by 2 frets and bar with 1st finger at the 2nd fret to make B major 7. Move the shape up by another fret to make C major 7. Up by another 2 frets will give you D major 7. And so on. The key of the chord you are playing depends on what note you are playing on the 5th or A string. Lastly, for this lesson, I'd like to show you how to play minor 7th chords. The formula for these is 1st, flat 3rd, 5th and flat 7th from the major scale. Or we can play the 1st, 3rd, 5th and 7th notes of the natural minor scale. In other words, for the chord of A minor 7th, we would use the A natural minor scale to play the 1st note or A, the 3rd note of the scale or C, the 5th note or E, and the 7th note, or G. The chord of A minor 7th could then be played like this. Notice how this chord contains the notes of A, C, E, G, and no others. Once again, this is a movable chord shape, 
So play the chord with your second and third fingers, then move the shape up by two frets and bar with your first finger at the second fret to make B minor 7. Move the shape up by another fret to make C minor 7. Up by another two frets will give you D minor 7. And so on. Again, the key of the chord you are playing depends on what note you are playing on the 5th or A string. As before, the formula is the same for any minor 7th chord. So for E minor 7, we would add in the note of D to an E minor chord like so. For the chord of D minor 7, add in a C note like so. And so on. These various seventh chords are used for all sorts of music, from beautiful ballads with major seventh chords, to funky styles using minor sevenths. I hope that, by learning these different types of seventh chords, you'll be able to achieve a wider range of chord progressions for yourself and also begin to recognize the sounds of these chords when listening to your favorite songs. Bye for now.